Hi, I'm Dr. Shilpa. I'm a fertility specialist and a laparoscopic surgeon from Bangalore. So today's topic for discussion is the difference between IVF and ICSI and which is the most suitable option for the patients to choose from. Coming to IVF, which is also known as in vitro fertilization, which has been around from 1979 and it has been a game changer in providing results of success to many infertility couples. So in IVF, there are several steps that is involving giving injections to the patient to get more and more follicles, retrieving the oocytes from the patient under anesthesia called the oocyte pickup, the handling of the egg and the sperm in the laboratory outside the woman's body to form an embryo and putting the embryo back into the uterus. So this whole process will take about 12 to 14 days depending on the patient's profile. Whereas coming to ICSI, that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection, it is a highly specialized form of IVF wherein the process of giving injections, the oocyte retrieval remains the same, but in the laboratory, each sperm is chosen by the embryologist and one sperm is injected into one egg. So this happens in cases where the sperm count is reduced, the sperm motility is reduced and the morphology of the sperms are poor. This helps in couple who are facing with male factor problems. So the uh, ICSI is, as I told you, a highly specialized form of IVF. And in these cases, the results are excellent when there are male factor problems. So coming to the success rate of IVF and ICSI, so if the male factors are normal, then we choose the IVF wherein the egg and the sperms are mixed in the test tube or in a petri dish in the lab without any manipulation from the embryologist. Whereas in ICSI, the sperms are chosen by the embryologist which are having the best of the parameters to be injected into the oocyte. In cases where the sperms are normal, then IVF and ICSI both have the same success rate which is about 35% which is standard all across the globe. In cases where there are male factor problems, ICSI definitely has an edge over IVF and provides better success rate. So when you choose an ICSI, will there be any additional problems? See the problems could be with the multiple pregnancy and the problems could be with slightly increased genetic problems to the baby which your fertility specialist will be able to handle it. Coming to the costing of IVF and ICSI, see both of them are quite expensive treatments and it depends on your profile, on the type of injections used and in the place that where you are getting it done. So ICSI is slightly more expensive than IVF depending on the expertise of the embryologist that is there in the center. So overall, Coming to IVF and ICSI, both of them have equal success rates when the male factor is normal and ICSI scores over IVF in cases where there is abnormality in the semen count, sperm count, sperm morphology and sperm motility. So I will see you next again with more videos. Thank you.